Don't get used to this, but this will probably be the shortest sermon that you've ever heard. But like I said, don't get used to it. So I'm going to have to give a visual cue and an audio, an audible, all audible. The only thing I want this morning is the video, and I'm going to talk over it, so mute the sound that's on it. So just go ahead and play the video, and we'll just do it from there. This is from the Jeremiah text. I'm the potter, you are the clay. As we think about all that that means, that, no, <laughs> that, that was on the, there we go, this one right here. I'm going to talk over this one here. I'm going to tell you as you're watching this and you're seeing how this potter handles this in his hands, look at how easy, how much just gentle the pressure is to make things happen in there. How he uses such simple things to just to, to make this beautiful piece of, of pottery. And how just a, a slight nudging causes it to do tremendous things. How you can raise that bump of clay straight up and shape it the way you want. In creation, God reached down into the, into the bank and pulled up a bump of clay and shaped, formed human beings into what they are and blew into them the breath of life. This guy here is, is I want to learn how to do this. I even brought my show and tell this morning, my, my wood piece that I made, you know, that, 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 that was for you. But I just want you to, to know that in the text this morning, it said that God will shape it, whatever it is, and if something happens to it that it spoils, then God is free to take the vessel that he just made and, and sovereign. Remember, we talked about that we've been doing this series on our faith, what we believe in and the object of our faith, God and sovereign God, omnipotent, omniscient, and ever-present. And so as we think about the ability of God to take you who you are, if you're not living up to, or God deems it necessary, that he needs to reshape you into something else, because God's not done with you, because what does it take before a vessel's completed? It's got to be fired. Otherwise, it's worthless. If you don't stick it to the heat and put it in there and glaze it, it's of an overly good. The first time you try to use it, it's break. But once you put it in that fire, now it becomes stone. It changes its chemistry. So the question, the question as we finish this video, is are you trusting enough? Trusting enough? Do you trust God enough? Because God's imagination for, for new vessels, God's imagination for what you could be, God's imagination for what you need to be, is infinitely greater than yours. So if we're all satisfied with what we are and who we are and how we live our lives, it may be very possible that there's a hand on that potter wheel and it's got you sitting right in the middle of it. That says, I know that you think that you're doing all that you can, but perhaps you can be more. Perhaps you can be more. As we go to our community time this morning, and and you 